Hey guys, this is part two of my FL Studio tutorial series. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you uh, basically an overview of the mixer. I didn't do it in my previous tutorial just because it takes a little while to just go through, and it's kind of a, a, a big element in FL Studio or song creations. First, I want you to open up the mixer by pressing this last button right here. And go into your master channel. Just just click on the master right here. You'll probably see a fruit delimiter on the very bottom on the eighth effect slot. Um, it should be just right here. See it? Um, it? It opens up automatically if you haven't changed any settings to your FL Studio, which is bad. So first thing I want you to do is go into File, New from Template. Um, here's what you're probably on right now, basic with limiter. Just click on basic and then open that up and it won't be there anymore. The reason for why I want you to do this is because the fruity limiter on your master channel is probably the main reasons for why your finished product or your finished song is sounding so unprofessional or your mix is sounding so unprofessional. Also, it just kind of makes your song sound cramped or added little reverb where it's not supposed to be just I don't know I don't know what it does man but it just does not it just don't need it you just don't need it not on your master channel maybe on your maybe on something else but definitely not your master channel uh, the fruit of limiter is definitely a great great tool but just not not for the overall mix so um, I strongly suggest you get rid of that when you're mixing. Anyway, moving on. So you have all these all these little channels here, all these little tracks. It might not look exactly like this. Chances are if you have FL Studio 10, it'll look like something like this or like this. Um if you like if you like seeing it that way, I really don't mind. Uh, just leave it that way, but I really like seeing all my little channels um, in one just small space. So I just leave it like that. It's it's the same same thing. So you have insert one all the way up to ninety nine. If this is basically where you link your channels from your step sequencer, so all these little channels right here will fit perfectly within uh, the mixer. So if I select my kick by clicking this little green light or just clicking on the channel itself, maybe clicking, right clicking on insert 10, link selected channels to this track and you'll see that the name will appear, it'll be kick. Now your kick on your step sequencer right here, this little, oops, this little kick right here is now linked to the mixer. Now that it's linked, you uh, can look on the right here, and there's going to be these eight slots. This is where you add your effects. So if I have this kick and it's beating at the speed of the tempo, and I add an effect, so if I click on this little ar arrow here, just on slot one, doesn't really matter which, um, and I add, let's say, a parametric EQ2, and if I have the beat playing, it modifies the sample and this is equalizing but definitely don't do what I just did there that was just me giving you an example <laughs> don't equalize like that ever um, so yeah so if you press on this arrow you'll have all these different sounds or plugins plugins and they are effects effect plugins and they're all, they'll, they'll probably all say fruity before. That just means that they were given to you by FL Studio. Um, there's also going to be stuff like Pitcher, um, Vocodex, Sound Goodizer. I'm pretty sure those are like, uh, you get it with FL Studio 10, but they're not actually from ImageLine. I'm pretty sure that's why it doesn't say fruity before. You can also have stuff like Omnicide which is a hard style uh, effect plugin for the click kick. Um, you don't get this at FL Studio. Um, you can download it online, buy it, 
and you add that by going to replace more and then refresh clicking fast scan and it should show up but the only way it will show up is if you do a little bit of modifying to your folders so which I could show you in a separate tutorial if requested a lot of tutorials on doing that anyway just search up how to add VSDs to FL Studio something like that anyway so um, that's where you can add all these different effects by linking your channels to the mixer you also have these little faders here to every single channel you have this DB meter mute uh, and panning you also have a fader and this effect light FX light will appear if you have an effect plugin attached so center for example just an effect plugin or modification plugin this little effects light will lit up, light up that just means that you have something uh, <clears throat> or an effect attached with the kick that's all it means and then you also can save your little sample I think I think that's what it does I might be wrong I think I'm totally wrong right now I don't usually do that so that's probably why um, can also open stuff into audio editor which is Edison on FL Studio you can also download separate editors or audio editors so yeah that basically shows you um, the general idea of what the mixer can do it's basically all it is you just link all your channels to the mixer you don't have to but that's what I usually like to do when I'm done all my songs change all these knobs here that you might have changed it's just the volume knob just reset that and then instead of using that volume knob uh, use the fader it's just a little more accurate I think it's easier to see and it's good for the mix so I could uh, get into that in, a, in other tutorial as well so that's the mixer for you um, any questions just let me know